Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer, I'm with Oculus Rift Reviews, now with Windows Mixed Reality as well. Today we're going to do a review and sort of a let's play for Essence of Illumination, The Beginning VR, a game on the Steam Store for the HTC Vive, Windows Mixed Reality, and the Oculus Rift. I don't know if it works for the Valve Index. This is basically an underwater walking simulator with very simple gameplay. It's more of just a relaxation narrative experience. There's not much a narrative. It's really just, you know, just an experience for you to relax with very basic gameplay. Uh, these are the advanced settings for the game. Uh, you can mess with the texture quality. As you can see, I have it on the highest. Uh, you can also mess with the anti-aliasing. Uh, dark matter quality, high quality, the fish population, seaweed enable, model quality, again the highest quality, soft shadows, max lighting light, light ball lights, light ball shadows, and you can choose between teleport or walking, high, medium, or low. I didn't really have any problems with the high. Uh, this is basically from a Samsung Gear VR port of a game, so the quality is just not very high. Uh, so, I was a little unimpressed with the visuals. There are, I mean, it, the, the visuals are okay, but they're just, you know, compared to the best in VR, it's, you know, pretty mediocre, if not a little bit on the substandard side. Especially Welcome for what it's going Mars for, which is a relaxation app. I manifested you into this world, and together we will be strong. I, I am the spirit that lives in this place. I didn't find. I have been here forever. I am this land. I am the plants. I am the animals. Trust me to guide you. I Together didn't... we will activate the sacred artifact. This will open the gate. This is our goal. Now I did not My like the voice acting. To you, it will appear to be made of light. I didn't think the voice acting is all that good from either this one or the uh, the octopus. It's Collect the energy crystals that are found among the corals. This will give you the light needed to dissolve the dark matter and free this world. There is a little bit of a story, but it's not. It really doesn't matter. This is more about just the experience, the being underwater, enjoying you know the fish swimming around and just exploring around the little area. There's basically only two areas. This is the first area. There's also like an inside area where I think it's like a, almost like a temple. Sorry, I gotta watch out where, where I'm moving into. You do have full locomotion, like I said, but you don't have turning. So you actually do have to turn in real life. I'm actually playing seated um, just because, you know, I don't want to be standing up for this. But this is basically the gameplay. You pick up these crystals with your right hand. You have, have like a little antenna and then you have like a little flashlight. And you just basically shoot at the dark matter. Now you do have like a little counter here. This tells me I have zero, so I have to collect more crystals. If you try to shoot with zero, here's a little stingray that I want to rescue at some point. So let's go ahead and try to rescue it. Remember to gather crystals. So if you have give you energy. So if, you can release light and dissolve the dark matter. If you have zero and you need to collect more crystals and you try to shoot, she's going to repeat that every single time. Remember to gather crystals <laughs> that will give you energy so you can release light and dissolve the dark matter. So I'm going to show off the environment a little Remember bit. Remember to gather crystals that will give you energy so you can release light and dissolve the dark matter. So obviously that gets very annoying pretty quick. Uh, the way that you progress inside the temple, actually, you will get instructions from the creature that lives in the temple. He guards the sacred artifact. Okay, I should probably not release the stingray just because it's probably more important to open that door just so I can show you all the next room. So the stingray is over there. You probably want to rescue him if you're doing a. a you must clear all the dark matter. And as you can see, I told you she's very annoying really quick when she keeps repeating herself. This should be enough to open the door, so I'm going to go ahead and just try to open the door. Okay. 
So I only have eight left. I don't know if that's enough. I might need to collect more crystals. Ah, I have one left. So I'm going to go inside the, I guess, the temple, maybe. I don't know. what It's an underground structure of some kind. Uh, underwater structure. It looks like almost like a little sea, sea temple. Find the one that lives here. He's our friend. There is a loading screen to get into this part of the world. Like I said, there's only two sections. It's the underwater section we were just in and then this inside structure. And that's it. You can explore the two areas. Uh, you're supposed to clean the dark matter from both areas. And then you can catch a fairy. And then you get a key from the octopus. And then you can uh, finish the game. It's really more just about the experience. Uh, if you like the visuals. Uh, more like a relaxation app. Now, uh, I, I bought this on sale today. 10% uh, off. But honestly, I didn't really enjoy the experience all that much uh just given the quality and the quantity of content i just don't think it matches the price to me this is more like a two dollar experience at most five dollars uh i mean if you really like the visuals and i don't know what's going on here it's taking a lot longer than it should this is loading for a long t it's loading for longer than it did on my first try i'm not sure what's going on it might have crashed I didn't experience any issues on my first playthrough. The only issue was that on one little dark matter, the uh, the light crystal magic thing kept bouncing off versus tr getting rid of it. But I was able to find an angle to actually get it. But other than that, it ran smoothly on my first try. Uh, I think there were there's some like warping on the edges on the Windows Mixed Reality. I, I don't know if it's just on my 1060 GTX. And Windows Mixed Reality, that's only an issue to me or if it's an issue uh, for anyone else. But this is uh, a bug here. It's not loading. I think it, it crashed. Anyways, this doesn't really affect my score of the game. I'm gonna, I was going to give this game a 5 out of 10 anyways. To me, it, some people might enjoy it. But if I'm being honest, I really did enjoy it. I didn't think it was a complete waste of time. So I'm not going to ask for a refund or anything like that. But I, I do expect higher quality experiences on Steam VR. For me, this does feel like a mobile VR port. Anyways, I'm Fast Lawyer. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Sorry you couldn't see inside the temple, but yeah, this is a bug. Thank you. Goodbye.